everyone welcome to the channel everyone welcome to the channel so in this video i'm going to show you how to utilize the python parser in model builder for value calculation in rgis pro so now let's get started so in this video uh, we will see how uh, the python parser is also available in uh, a tool called uh, calculate value and uh, and that particular tool is only available in model builder and now let me explain about this model builder so RGIS Pro Model Builder is a powerful tool for GIS analysis, allowing them to create and share the customized geoprocessing workflow without requiring an extensive programming knowledge. It promotes an efficiency, repeatability, and collaboration in geospatial analysis and data process. So RGIS Pro Model Builder is a visual programming environment with RGIS Pro software that allows the users to create, edit, and manage geoprocessing workflow. It provides a graphical interface for building, designing and executing complex geoprocessing models without a need for scripting or programming. So Model Builder simplifies the creation of custom geoprocessing tool workflow and making it accessible to user with varying level of GIS expertise. So you can work, automate your workflow using our Model Builder. So now let me get back to our RGIS Pro. So now here in the table of content section, you can able to visualize we have our two shape file. One shape file here represents the country and the second shape file here represents the country called India. And now I'm going to insert a new map. So for that, we're going to navigate to this option called insert. And now here we're going to click this option called new map. So click this option called new map. So now we are opening a second map here. And now let me close this uh, particular uh, map scene. And now I'm going to uh, navigate to this option called catalog. So we're going to click this option called folder. Let me navigate to my uh, to my shapefile called uh, populated places. So now let me uh, right click and add to the current map. So now we can able to visualize the shapefile called populated places. And now let me rename this as a populated places. So now I have renamed the layer as a populated places. So you can just rename by just clicking on this layer. So now let me uh, name it as a places. So our objective is to use a random number generator between two values that our model tool user uh, enters to decide uh, how big the buffer around each places uh, will be. And the random number generated, uh, generated will be uh, multiplied by 100 to set the buffer size in uh, kilometers. And now here we navigate to this option called analysis and click this option called model builder. So now it's loading. So the first thing uh, that I will put into my model is the layer that I want to buffer. So now let me drag and drop, dra drag and drop this uh, layer into my model builder. So now to uh, get the user to type in uh, two integer that will be used to set the range on the random number generator. So now I will create a two integer variables. So now to do that, we're going to navigate to this option called variable. So now a new window pop up saying a variable data type. And now let me select the data type here. I'm going to select the data type to be a long. So I'm going to select this data type called long and now click OK. And now let me rename this particular. So for that, we're going to right click and click this option called rename. So now let me rename as a minimum. So once you did that, so now we are renamed it and now let me uh, click this and copy it and now place it, paste it and now I will rename as a max. So right click and rename, enter as max, I have renamed as a max and uh, I want uh, both mini, minimum and maximum to be a parameters that appears uh, on my model tool dialog. So for that we're going to right click and click this option called parameter and similarly I'm going to right click click this option called parameter 
So the letter P next to the mini and max element indicates the, their uh, model parameters. So now my model needs the buffer tool. So for that we're going to use a geoprocessing catalog. So uh, we're going to click this geoprocessing window here. So here I'm going to click and drag my buffer tool into my model builder. So now this is our buffer tool. And now it requires another tool called uh, calculate value tool. So, but the calculate value tool is not available in geoprocessing tool. So, but instead uh, the calculate value tool will be available in the utility option here. So click this option called calculate value. So now the tool is available here. And uh, I now have all the elements needed for my model. So I can start to link them together. So now let me place my buffer tool here. And similarly, let me uh, place my calculate value here. To, to select this tool, we have to hold your control key and use your mouse and click the right uh, key. And now let me place my calculate uh, tool here. Now first uh, click the place element and uh, drag uh, a link uh, to the buffer tool as an input, uh, input features. And now click this option called input features and now let me link the mini minimum and uh, maximum to the uh, to the uh, to the calculate uh, tool calculate value tool as a precondition and similarly let me uh, click and drag towards our calculate value tool as a precondition so the output value from the calculate value tool is going to be the distance uh, used by the buffer tool so I will drag a link between the two that is towards the value and to the buffer as a distance. So now the my model looks kind of a bit messy. So I will click the auto layout button here. So now let me click this. So now the tools will get automatically arranged by itself using the specific option called auto layout. Now let me zoom this. So I'm now uh, ready to configure the calculate value tool. So I double click it. So first I will define a function in the code block here, yeah, code block, which is uh, where the Python uh, parser comes in. And now let me uh, copy and paste the particular code here and I will explain it. So now here, the first line of code here represents the rand buffer size function to take two integer values for minimum and maximum. And now in the next line of code here, I import the rand in function from the Python's uh, random module. And now here, I use a rand int uh, to create a random integer between the min and max values. So now here, uh, that random integer is stored in the variable uh, named as rand int and uh, which gets multiplied by 100. To create a, so to create a new variable uh, named buffer size km and take a look to, uh, look at here the rand int variable has a capital i in its uh, name whereas the rand int the function name uh, it's all in uh, lowercase so then i format my buff size km uh, with a uh, string uh, followed by a space and the word uh, kilometers and that string is uh, written by the function and now I will type my expression so the percentage signs are here uh, used to, here to delimit the inline variables named uh, min and max and we created those uh, and created by inserting and configuring the variable name uh, variable uh, element named min uh, and then uh, copy pasting and renaming the second as max the variable uh, element named as a max so now the data type will be in linear unit so now let me select that linear unit so the linear unit is a string containing both uh, the number and the unit to apply to it and uh, that's what we uh, we have written by the function in our code block and now uh, click ok to finish configuring the calculate value tool now let me click this so that I have uh, something to ready to test. 
So now let me set a default value of a mini, a mini for minimum, I will set one. And for the maximum, as the default value of five for maximum. So now let me double click this. So now let me set the minimum value of one. Click OK. And similarly, let me double click and set the minimum value, maximum value to be uh, five. And now click OK. So now the, the model uh, now colors up, which tells uh, that it's, uh, it has everything that needs to able to run. So, but before we do that, I want to make sure that the model writes its uh, output to our sample geo database. And now let me navigate to this option called output feature class. So now it is currently stored in our E drive. So now let me double click this element. And now let me navigate to the sample geo, sample geo database. And now let me enter the name as a place buffer. So now I have entered the name as places buffer. And now click save. And now click OK. So now to run this tool, we have to navigate this option called run and click this option run. So the model is currently it's running. So we can see from the result that the tool has uh, run using min, a minimum of one and a max of five and the random value so the random value that is generated to be four uh, to get the buffer size of uh, 400 kilometers and now let me close this and now uh, click this option called validate so that i can run it again so now you can able to notice that element now loses its shadow indicating that they are uh, ready to rerun Let me uh, click this option called run. So on the second run, a different random value of uh, between one and five was generated. So the random number was two. So based on the value here, it is around 200 kilometers. So random number is two multiplying 100 is 200 kilometers. And now let me close this. So now I'm going to give uh, this model some properties. So which is available here. Let me click this properties. So now when the general tab in the name, uh, we're going to enter as a random buffer. Now I have entered as random buffer. Now in the label. So in the label I have entered as random buffer with space between the random and buffer. And now go to the parameters. And now here, let me uh, place this minimum value above the max value. So let me click this and place it below. So the minimum value should appear top and the maximum value should appear at the bottom. So order is important because it detected, it dictates the order that uh, parameter appears on the tool dialog. And it's uh, more intuitive to have a minimum before the max. And now click OK. So now let us save our model by just by clicking this uh, the save option. And now go go to this option called uh, catalog. So in that you can just navigate to this option called toolboxes. So in the introduction to Python windows. So let me click this. And here you can able to visualize our random buffer. So this is our random buffer uh, model tool. So in case uh, the tool is not available means you just click on this introduction to Python windows and right click and click this option called refresh. And now let's open our random buffer tool. Just double click. And this is our random buffer tool. And now I'll, I will ask the tool to uh, pick a random number between uh, four and uh, 10. So let me enter the minimum value as four. And similarly, let me enter the maximum value to be around 10. And now let me click this option called run. So now the random buffer tool has been completed. Now let's view the details. And now go to this option called message. So here the buffer size was around 700. So it will pick the random values between four to 10. So 
So based on the buffer size is around 700, it has picked the random value of 7 between 4 and 10. And now let me close this and just let me navigate to the map section here. And now go to the catalog and now go to the default uh, sample geo database. Go to the folders and navigate your folder location. So this is my sample dot geo database. Now let me click this. So here you can able to visualize the place buffer. So in case if it's not available means you can just right click and click this option called refresh. And now let me uh, add this place buffer into my map view. So right click and add to the current map. And now let us run this tool again. So now go to this option called geoprocessing. So now this is our tool random buffer. And now uh, let us run this tool once again. So we're going to leave it as a default value as a minimum of four and maximum of 10, like our previous uh, process. So now we're going to run this. We close this and click run. And now here, our random buffer process has been completed. So now let us view this. So here go to this option called message. And here you can able to visualize here the value is around 400 kilometers. So the random number was picked as well. It was uh, four. Four was a random number between the numbers starting from four to 10. And this is our buffer value, 400 kilometers. And now let me place this uh, buffer value into a map view. So for that, we can navigate to our catalog section here. Right click, refresh, right click, add to the current map. So now I can able to visualize it. So in this video, I have shown you how to utilize the Python parser in model builder for value calculation. So where we have created a tool, a random buffer tool, which intakes the value uh, with a minimum a user defined minimum and maximum value between that value it generates a random number based on the random number we are generating a buffer based on the value so suppose between 4 and 6 the random number was 5 then 5 multiplying 100 we have generated a buffer of 100 uh, which have generated a buffer distance of 500 kilometers so thanks for watching uh, and subscribe to our channel and give us a like